Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sun Tzu campaign. This is episode 13. We pick it up from turn 62 in the autumn season of 206. So picking things back up, uh, we have armies that needs to be moved in all four directions. Uh, Coron has an army coming towards our lumberyard. We're going to respond with this army right here and also make a push for Luoyang. So I think the best way is actually to try to ambush him. He's definitely coming for the Lumberyard. So if we just go north of it and lay an ambush here, we can be prepared for the small town and also to attack him depending on which way he goes. He's probably coming down this way. It'll take him a while to reach us. Um, this is a small town, means we just kind of marched over there to take it, so there's no rush. I'd rather him actually build it up a little bit before we take it, so we're going to leave that as is. Um, we're also going to leave this army pretty much stationary here. There is a threat coming down uh, in Zanba, but the army has no siege weapons, so Yangzhou can hold for a little bit. And our backup plan, uh, well, Zhang Fei is kindly guarding our capital because he, he's there, our ally. Um, our backup plan is for Sun Ce's army here to go assist uh, in the central plains after we take Badong's iron mine. So first, we hop into the river, and we land. Now, I don't think we have enough this turn, but we can grab it next turn. And over here, we're going for Zhu Fu's other territory in Wuling's livestock farm. So we're just going to walk simply because we still need to replenish a little bit. So we'll take that turn uh, to do so. Now, we probably still can't reach the next turn, which is a little... Hmm, actually, that's a little annoying. Might as well go as far as possible so that we can take it next turn. Which is probably more important than healing up to full. We have a few level ups that we can uh, deal with. Taishu Tzu here reach rank 7, which is great. Um, let's see, what army is he in? He's in our western force with night battle already. So, I think we go for the venom this shot. Go down Perception Zeal. Yeah, I think that's the way to go here. And this army can march towards the livestock farm, just sweeping our way down uh, towards Chengdu. Haven't really seen an army uh, by Liu Zhang yet, so I don't know what we're dealing with. But I don't expect it to be too tough. Alright, we'll be able to get that next turn. This is a small city, so... It can defend itself, and that's pretty much our army. This army, we're going to keep them in Runan, just because I can't see what Cao Cao's up to or whoever is walking through this area. Um, we're going to put Sun Tzu over here to launch the attack into the north through Liu Bei's territory. I want the temple, so I think we're going to go up here, grab the temple, and I also want to wipe out Liu Bu's faction, so we're going to grab his uh, Luoyang over here, and also grab Longya over here, uh, kind of to free up our uncle from being his vassal so that we can vassalize him instead. Um, our backup army here that's farming rebels uh, has a rebel group to farm. We just need to give them someone else who needs a few levels. Um, hmm. Chen Wu, Zhu Zhi are both good candidates, but... They also have pretty big retinues that I don't want to pay for. We could just temporarily pop her in, let them take care of it, and then I'll pop her out so that there's no disagreements among the group. Alright. No need to create any rivalries. And uh, we, we definitely can't afford more armies. You know, we're making a ton. And we have characters like Da Tiao and Xiao Tiao sitting in our court. And uh, Yu Tu, who is, I mean, historically he's technically, okay, so technically he's from the Wu region. I think he's from, I want to say he's from Wu Ling. But he betrayed, oh, he didn't betray, he worked with Wei, the Kingdom of Wei, as one of the rebels. Uh, to kind of start, you know, a rebellion here, but it failed. 
uh, Lu Xun put him down. We don't have Lu Xun yet, but uh, technically he's a southern character, and uh, he's still very young. And the farmer it's good for assignment, so we're keeping him. And let's see, yeah. So we have we have candidates. You know, uh, Lu Fan is also available. Jia Xu, uh, Lady Wu, Lu Meng, also this bandit lady. But I think all the money that we're making right now, I want to develop all our commanderies because they're vastly underdeveloped, which is like a huge wasted opportunity. Um, and still quite expensive for us to, you know, upgrade everything to the standard that we want them to be at. And some of these are becoming full build as we speak, but not all of them. So, still some work to do. We haven't gotten shaft mining yet, so I can't upgrade that. And over here, we got the crucial one. And I think I want to start a forge here. I think we have enough deployments that we don't need any more conscription buildings. Mm, probably want to wait for shaft mining. Do we want to level it up more and maybe build a forge for all the... Yeah, let's do that actually. We do have the money to spare. And it has a assignment... Uh, um, um, what do you call it? Administrator that actually helps reduce the cost. So that's crucial. I don't know if I want to upgrade this actually. I feel like we're probably going to end up trading away to Wu Jing to make him join us later. So let's keep it at what level it is. This is a little slow. Over here, Yang Zhou. Hmm, it's a confusing build because eventually we want this. But right now, the inn makes a little bit more sense. I think we go for the final build. I don't know if we can get those land back from the obey or not, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we just abandon this as an income commander and make it more utility. Stick it with this, and then just go with like a forge. Maybe even get rid of this. Like, we can easily go forge. And then instead of this, we go government support kind of like that and just go with the utility build and we'll let Liu Bei keep the farm and just be our buffer and that's totally fine you gotta adapt your builds to you know the situation all right so we can definitely I would like a mixed do we not have that character anymore who has the surplus market one Hmm. All right, that's fine. We don't have it. We don't have it. Wow. We only have four characters who can actually do assignments right now. It's a little rough. I guess Yang Zhou, because a lot of buildings to go up. So we can have her gain a few levels here. All right, before we leave, we still have shared expertise. Now I know you can share expertise everyone on the side, you know, it's just gotta click them and do it. But I want to have the characters up here, gain the level first for the extra bonuses. Uh, so we're gonna focus on the guys on the top first. Peasantry. General health recharge. This one's good. This one's solid. I think we push Tyshitz up to eight. And we'll get some extra food and peasantry. It's not bad. And he's close. Closest, I guess. Probably not enough to make him go over right now. I wonder if recruiting Sufei would make it easier for us to get Gunning. 
because they're good friends and he's pretty much the only reason why Gunning joined in the first place but I don't think that's how the game works so we're not gonna accept another Vanguard that's the one class we really don't need all right so that's pretty much it for this turn I think I think we're good we check for potential turncoats Oh, she is uh, Yan Bai Hu's wife, who potentially have poison volley. That's kind of attractive. Also, Cornell's faction, who we're at war with. So maybe we get our first spy here as well. Let's try to balance her point out a little bit. Plus 13 on the cover for his uh, spying defense. Pretty nice. What position is she in? She's actually a general. She's a wait. She's in the army in Trun. Ah, funny. Okay. Why did he demote her recently, and then bring her with him in the same army? He's asking for trouble. He has Yuan Tan and Wang Long. Interesting. Okay. All right, we got ourselves our first spy. And I think that's it. I think we're happy with everything. Let's continue. All right, next turn, Gong Sun Du signed a peace deal with Gong Sun Zan. Okay. And then they create a coalition as well. That's a very strong peace deal. Zan Ba joined the war. Okay, against Zhang Ji. Oh, poor Li Jue died of old age, 64. Okay, so our court becomes empty here. And we can take a new character into that role. Now, we would like a character with a strong faction wide bonus. We could anticipate that we will get Silk and Spice. He also get plus five satisfaction, so that's not bad. Right, Du Ji. I ended up looking him up. So he wasn't really an active participant in the warring part of the Three Kingdom area, but he was a very good, like it says, a governor of the Hedong region in the north for Cao Cao. Um, so that's why kind of the name doesn't click at all. Um, but he was very valuable in setting up the region and uh, making the populace like him and also support Cao Cao and contributed a lot of uh, laborers during a lot of the campaigns. Um, he has some unique bonuses, which is kind of interesting. Public order plus 5% income from all sources. He has burnt, so he's good on the field. But faction-wide, he doesn't provide much unless we have flexibility and reach. Lady Wu still our heir. 10% character experience. It's just not that great. Da Chao 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 bonus is not so great either. Talking about some trade bonus and character experience bonus. Chen Wu's 15% industry is actually decent. And then minus 5% construction cost. Hmm. But he's administrator right now, so he's also taken. Militant. Hmm. We could throw him there. 10% plus 5 satisfaction. We just take him out of Yujang, which is not that key of a commandery. Maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. Maybe we take Luo Jun over here. And then we throw, you know, maybe Lu Ji into a administrative role, just for a discount off her expertise. Not really hoping her skill tree contributes much. Well, actually, her skill tree actually contributes. Yeah, maybe maybe she can temporarily take a job as administrator. What items are Lu Jun holding? Right, so 
you can actually steal those items. And we'll do that flip. Okay. And then we'll get Rizu into a position. Now, which one though? Because now Yu Zhang's not so ideal. Nanyang might be a pretty good one because we're talking about industry and commerce. Yeah, I think this would be a good choice here. We'll still keep one open uh, just for Nanhai in the future and also Tang Wu. And also just so that we can flip roles really easily. All right, we also have a few other level up. She's working her way towards Poison Volley and Xiao Qiao. Hmm. This isn't really one that we really need her to have. I think maybe Night Battle first. All right, let's do our armies real quick. So Coral's army actually moved down, which is interesting. And it's also interesting that she's the only general with him in the army. He can't really hit us. And this army is quite weak from Zheng Jiang. So I actually think we go and grab ourselves Luoyang right now for free. There will be no fighting because it's just a small town. Okay, so we see Gao Kai's army over here. No, we are going to upgrade it real quick so that we have a wall very soon. Chen Pu gain trustworthy. Good for him. Um, let's see. Elsewhere. Let's finish this off. Should be just a delegate. We are pulling the army, so it doesn't matter how injured they get. Okay, we captured her. We want her. She's their Grand Commandant. I don't really care for her, actually. We'll just take her armor. We don't really need her armor. Let's just build some goodwill and release. Same thing here. She's the heir. Alright, now we're going to recall everyone. It's a level 3. It's not bad. And over here, we can end their faction on the same turn. Oh, that's not their capital. They have more land. That's fine. We have a lot of cavalry, so the delicate value against these spears is not that great. But I think it's mainly Sun Quan taking too much damage. In this delegate to be called medium casualty and we'll pay for it pay for the collapse fix the construction up so he does have another territory he has the tool maker down here all right so we'll, we'll have a chance to heal up next turn before we get on to the tool maker he probably recruit a general back and then we're going to move on to the yellow turbans here and the High Empire territories, who we pieced out because they switched hand to Yuan Shao, who I believe declared war on us, so it doesn't matter if we attack his vassal. All right, I don't know how the vassal system work after he becomes emperor with the previous emperor. I think it goes away and we can just attack him without any issues. Yeah, he's it's free now. They're no longer their vassal. I actually want to wipe out the High Empire so that we can force all the officers to come out uh, from that faction. Because I'm sure it's taking a lot of refugees right now. Let's see, what else do we got? We got out west, a free livestock farm. All right, we made a couple deals with Matong right before we became emperor, and it's helping us a little bit 
because he hasn't turned on us yet, and it's making our defense quite simple. Um, Hanjong does need to become a city soon, which it will, and it will be our key choke point here against them. I don't think they'll spend the time filtering through the mountains. Oh, Gao Shun's here. Li Da Mu, Yao Tai, okay. This army is not in an easy situation. We got quite a bit of enemies around. But we should be fine. Their job is just to sweep south, grab all of this land. And then I don't know if we're turning on Hu Mao or not. Because he doesn't control... Like, he's worth a lot more to us just with this trade deal than the land he carries. So maybe he's allowed to live. Anyhow. This unit's fine. No one's bothering them. Are they really going to siege this city with the force they have? I feel like we crushed them just with the city garrison. Not sure, but like we can get a little bit more help once we get uh, Sun Tzu's army here. Right here we want the government support up. But actually I want the forge to be giving us items uh, from tier 2 first. Alright, all the army has moved. And now we just try to use all our savings on buildings. I can't wait. Uh, that doesn't need to wait. But Xiangyang's job is to get all these to tier 5 so we can downgrade. So we need a reform here. We need a reform for this. We also need a couple reform for that. It's a shame. It's a lot of work. Reform, reform, reform. This is not ideal. This is a bit extra, but we got it for free. So I guess we'll convert it to T. Alright, this needs to be corruption reduction. We're doing fine on food, so I'm not upgrading any of the rice patties. All right, same thing here. Okay. They give us a level four livestock farm. Appreciate that. And I think we're good. There's not really anyone to do anything at court. We're getting a lot of share expertise. It's gonna be awkwardly high. If it's over 50, then it becomes really difficult to use because it maxed out 99. So it's like you have 55, you use it once, and they have five. Basically, like it's going to end up to a situation where we have to waste a few points because you have 99, you use 50, you're 49, you can't use the 49. But if you gain more than 50 at this point, then you're wasting a few. Um, you can't do anything about that. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. We can just continue here. Yang Feng wants a non mm, willing to pay us for a non-aggression pack. This is one wise leader. Yeah, I'm not going north anytime soon, so I will be very happy if he is willing to get this deal with us. And we'll take the per turn value better. Alright, Gong Sun Du will declare war on Zhang Ji. And Zhang Ji somehow Ah alliance or coalition whatever empire three wars the sleeping dragon Zhuge Liang has joined Liu Bei okay ooh cordial understanding tranquil hmm Han Sui's daughter is she carrying any items no that's unfortunate Okay, we got a new reform, which is something we wait for every time. We can definitely go up this part to get the copper mine for the corruption reduction, which is eating away at most of our income, and also to get this one so we can get the tier 5 state workshop. Or we can come here, tier 4 marketplace, tier 5 marketplace, tier 5 in, all very useful and this one gives 30% extra commerce 
and also gives the level four jade and salt. So maybe that's the winner here. Because there's going to be three wasted ones before we can even build anything. And this can't give us builds right away. Assuming there's nothing else urgent. Well, level three conscription is a little helpful, but not that urgent. We can deal with just level two. All right, let's get that. Oh, another mods. Okay. Right. All right, we've seen all that. So they didn't dare to attack us, which is the wise move. Hmm. But I don't want them to be... Do I care? Oh, Lü Bu attacked Cao Cao here in Chen. So that's our land now. Sun Ce. Chen Bu. Zhou Wu doesn't get along with Sun Ce now. Is that so, my friend? You want me to bring bring your wife instead? Huh. We can maybe bring a different general. Or we can just get a rivalry buff, which is strange to have a rivalry between Sun Ce and uh, Zhou Yu. I mean, he finds a little under leveled at this point. I think we tough it out. You guys can make up. Alright, they're going to take a little bit of time before they can fight. Just sit in the city. It'll be quick. Two turns? Three turns? Okay. Three turns. Alright, Yu Tu. Um, let's go here. Get you reach. We'll make you useful. Alright, we're moving to the edge. And then we're wiping out Zhu Fu. Oh, we can wipe him out this turn. He didn't summon himself. Should have summoned himself. Alright, you did nothing wrong. You can go. Alright, Zhu Fu's faction is destroyed. He did a good job of upgrading his things. Even though this is not the version I want, I want the other version. But getting a free level 5 is nice. Sun Ce hit tier... Rank 6. Okay, there's no good items for him. Um, Let's see, what do we want? Extra speed, extra attack rate. Extra faction support. I think extra speed is pretty good. And then we'll go down for range block chance here. Yeah, we don't have anything good. Oh, actually, that can go on Lu Yiqi. There we go. Yeah, just just hold that one for now. We'll, we'll find you something suitable later. All right, this army can get a well-deserved break. Uh, yellow turbans like us, which is interesting. We could still keep the High Empire as our buffer. Ideally, I think we want to go up and clean the yellow turbans from the north to the south. Um, so maybe we can take a few turns to scroll this way, grab that town, grab the rice paddy, then we can declare war on them, and then we can come down together. I don't know, there's no real efficient way to do this. It's just going to be slow. Uh, speaking of slow, moving around here is also a bit slow. All right, we're going to go slow as well here, one county at a time. We'll take care of the farmland. Still don't see an army. Chengdu is a small regional city, though. That's got to have a defensive force there. All right, they're raiding us. That's a stupid move. They're not moving over. 
So we cut them off. They're gonna run. And that's totally fine, because we're gonna stay on the road here. Alright, need to get this upgraded quickly. We might move them towards Nanyang in case we get attacked this- Ooh! Where did they come from? Hello there. Okay, Lumberyard. I'm gonna summon her. It's okay if you guys don't get along. I guess I'll take some cavalry as well. Alright, we don't need any fancy siege weapons here. We're just gonna go pure mercenary defense. Who has reach? Alright, you lead. The thing is, he's not rank 5. So I don't think he... Wait, does he have access to the cavalry? He doesn't. That's the problem. So what's going to happen is we're going to have to go... Archery. Infantry. And infantry. Which is still fine. Because we're really defending against this thing. Hmm. Did he join after Zhu Fu got wiped? Yeah, he did. Well, we don't need him. Alright, while we're here, let's push him to 8. So zeal, and then we'll wait for Nai to get Venomous shot. And then when we get 10, we're probably going to go Understanding for plus 1 rank, and probably Intensity for Mighty Knockback. And we'll just ignore the ranged uh, boost. Yeah. I think that's fine. Alright, all the army has moved. We build a temporary one. The rest of the money. So Hanzhong is a small city now. So now we go corruption reduction. Yangzhou can finally build the government support. These don't need to be touched. We could upgrade for a forge. I don't mind more ancillary items. We need to in here and forge here. The mine can wait. Shaft mining still not taken yet. Tea parlor, marketplace. Same thing about shaft mining. And then we want to finish going tall here. Maybe we do want the corruption reduction here. We're out of characters for assignments. It's ridiculous. Um, Xiangyang maybe, because there's a lot of things to build real quick. So we'll let him come here, get some experience here as well. Alright, I think we actually used up every single character in our court. They're either on the battlefield or on assignment somewhere. Yep. 
We could use a few more, but there's just no one related to us. Anyhow, uh, we'll hold this position. I think that's it. All the buildings are done. We can take a look at Spy. See if anyone knew. Hmm, Lu Bu's army. Zheng Jiang, Liu Bei. Right, there's no one I want from this group. I think we just pass. Let's continue. Alright, discipline versus reckless. I like discipline. I don't like reckless very much. The speed is fine, but the stat loss is not great. So we're gonna favor Zhou Tai here. Overseer. What a good item to have. Uh, the army disappeared, which is not great. We'll, we'll pull a disappearing trick too. We'll disappear. Well, oh, that mountain is blocking us. We'll disappear right here. See if they come and reappear. The city should be fine if they siege because, you know, they don't have siege weapons. Now, this army could use an overseer. Alright, they're stuck in March, so we can take them out easily. Trespass on Tall Tall. Ooh! We got a party in the river. Alright, so this is low casualty, should be fine. They're a decimated force. Hmm, Bandit character. I think we just execute him. Yeah, these are... He's also the administrator, so... I mean, he's retinue so bad, I'm willing to let him go. Alright, so in the river, we have Yuan Shao's army. A little scary. Liu Biao joined Zheng Jiang. Still alive. 64. Interesting. And Yuan Shao himself, 52, also across the river. Hmm. I almost want to rush this down. We'll, we'll do that at the end, before we end the turn. Out west, we're still not seeing resistance. I mean, Ma Teng's army is here, but they're friendly to us. I think they're at war with them as well. So it's a race for territory, but his army... Ooh. I see enemies. Alright, finally some resistance. Let's see who they have. Lu Zhi? 67 year old. This is not the Lu Zhi. This is a different one. Okay. Not impressed. They might have night battle. It's possible on the Sentinels. We're going to step out in front of the bridge. So they can't attack the farmland. Even if they night battle. You know, if they want to fight our army, they can feel free to come and give us a try. Alright, this group that's taken a beating after two delegates. Yeah, we'll work our way through the yellow turban forces first. I think the best way is to stand here for a turn. And then go attack them next turn. They actually have a stack. So our tribuches can actually rank up a little bit fighting that. Which is nice. Alright. They're pretty much healed up. They backed off. I don't think we can heal inside. I don't know. Maybe we can heal inside allied territory. I'm not sure. But we can actually grab this. Lupo's army might be here. I can kind of ignore that. That doesn't really matter. So if we attack this. 
Let's go here first. Let's take a peek. We're not full strength, but I know he should have an army here. He just took it. Where did his army go? Did he go attack Chen? Alright, we don't know where his army is, so it could be very dangerous. I'm going to actually fight this and cut it out, just to make sure we take absolutely no casualty. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Pretty easy fight. Let's occupy. Just got to be safe, because I don't know where Lubu's force is. Um, my best guess is over here. We're going to just pull back a little, just in case, so that we have the retreat option open to us and I want to talk to Liu Bei I want to give him a target I want him to help us fight the kingdom of Seoul he doesn't want to what if we give him you know some land like the land we just captured and you know some items that we don't really need even this one How about that? And then some spare cash on top of that. There's gotta be a price for you. 5,000. Okay, it doesn't even need that much. Three. There we go. So this way he fights Yuan Shao for us. And because we have a common enemy, he shouldn't really turn on us in the future. Now we just gotta make sure he doesn't actually capture the Emperor's seat. Or else it's all out war between us two. Gongsun Sun. Okay, they have a port. Yeah, that's not hard. Ah. Oh. Interesting. We can vassalize him. This is like creating an enemy behind the enemy uh Yuan Shao's back. I mean, we don't need these. I don't really care for that guy either. little bit of spare cash. Oh, too much spare. Well, needs to be a little over, I guess. 185. 190. Okay, that's fine. Liu Bei likes this. Gong Sun likes this. Li Bu hates it. Zan Ba hates it. Yang Feng hates it. I mean, I don't care if he... You know, ask for equality, like uh, independence later. It's fine. He's so far away. That's not going to bother us. Man, how many people were was he fighting? Alright. So. We have a new friend in the north. What else can we get? High Empire. So we're not turning on them anytime soon, but I think we are turning on them, so we'll spare this one for now. Create vassals. Yeah, you. What's the price? 32 is a little steep. We'll see. Maybe we'll throw him, you know, some counties. Maybe give him Basi. Yeah. There's no rush here. Alright, so we just added a few enemies for... Yuan Shao. Oh, actually, we they're not at war with them. Are they strong enough to go to war? I think they are. So please go to war with them. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright. 
That's called strategy, giving him some enemies to fight. Now, I think we moved all our armies. Now we just got to go through our buildings real quick. Ooh, minus 50% corru corruption raised our income by like 2,000. Yeah, we definitely need to get some global faction-wide re uh, corruption reduction reforms going. It's just that we have so many other reforms that we need. It's just stalling. Alright, who cares about saving money? No more waiting for shaft mining. Forge. We needed all those items to trade for diplomacy, and now we're kind of bronze item poor. So, time to build those up again. Alright, now we should probably rush this, but it's not going to do much for us. Because we don't have enough to make it all the way to a small city, so we'll just keep it at a small town. It's fine. If they're able to... They can't loop around our army. I think our zone's big enough that it's going to make them difficult to actually reach the town. So I think we'll be okay. Alright, share our expertise before we leave. Uh, who wants to reach 8? Extra construction time, cost discount. Peasantry. Starting rank is a little tempting. General health is also not that bad. Extra trade route and trade influence. I think we'll just give it to him because it's going to help him on the battlefield as well. He's kind of the one surrounded by everyone. Alright, he's rank 7. We can finally give him reach. There we go. And then we can give him flexibility next. So yeah, we can do it one a turn on him. So that's pretty quick. And that's it. I think we're good. Just check on our spy. Her points are fine. We could use more undercover points. So let's flip them again. Oh, it's plus 19 now. I thought plus 13 was bad. Anyone else willing to turn code on their master? Gongsun Zan, we don't need a spy. Alright, we're fine. Let's continue here. Alright, I can't believe it. This army actually popped over here, but the good news is we moved our army over here, so if we give them a temporary army, we can crush them here. Because I thought I was going to anticipate them coming over here. So... Tenacity of Steel. I actually think either we get rid of this army or we can actually put it to work. We can actually make them go towards the trade port. Even though they have no siege weapons, like trade port we can take down without siege weapons. Okay, we bumped into Zhang Ji for some reason. That's why his faction is not destroyed because he's still on the field. Uh, this army we need to wipe out right away. No joking around here. Where do you think you're going? Alright. I don't think we need to give them the time and effort. This is Rubu's wife, but no one has really any good items or good armies. We'll wait till we have a real fight. Alright, they're crippled, but they're not dead. Don't, uh, Rubu's men. There's no need to be kind to Rubu. I think we can just execute. Oh, we can still catch her. That's unfortunate, Lady Yen. You're going back home. Oh, 
满军终于得以平息。该当如此。Oh, John Al leveled up. Let's get charge the gate. So, what should we do with this group? There are quite a few armies here. Maybe they could use some help. But as you can see, everyone ran away. Like Nobel didn't run away very smartly, and this army definitely didn't run away very smartly. They're going, so I don't know if they need to keep helping. We don't. I mean, it's not an expensive army to maintain. Like if we look at it, army of. Handong, it's like let's see, two thousand seven hundred, no five hundred, four six hundred ish. Not that expensive. Oh, got a jade archer. Gao Ding Lu Chang. Xia He. Hmm. Is that no? Not burnt. Yeah, we'll pass. Um, we're gaining a bunch of traits ourselves. See, the thing—if we keeping the army, just like here—if we're keeping the army, then we should probably swap for two tribuches, and it will actually replenish much faster. So someone brought this up, and it's actually smart. So you can do a mercenary unit, and then swap, and use the full count of the mercenary unit to speed up the mustering of the siege weapon or whatever unit you want to switch. It's a little extra cost, but it saves your mustering by a lot. So same thing here. Actually, these two ranked up to five. So these guys switch. Yeah, we'll keep it. We gotta go north anyways. We need to start taking down um, Yuan, uh, Yuan Shao, so it makes sense we pump them up. Alright, there are a bunch of fights we can pick. So do we care about this army enough to fight them, or do we just want to grab the salt mine? Because I feel like we just want the salt mine. What's he gonna do to us? Right, we might want to fight this on the battlefield to fight it cleanly, but we don't really, we're not scared of that army. So let's see you guys at the end. I'll just fight this manually. Alrighty, we lost a few to the archers, but not that bad. I think we're gonna treat that army the same. We're gonna move outside. Well, what happened there? Okay. See, he's rank. Well, that red dot is messing up. Um, extra range damage, and we're gonna not ignore it completely. We do want to fight it next turn, but we, we're happy letting it be stuck on our territory. Jiangyang, we're interested in. Chengdu, of course, we're interested in. Um, let's see. They're done. They're done. They're not done. Who do we want to chase down? Our old friend Liu Biao. Yeah, I think so. All right, we did give up that territory. I don't know where Liu Bu's army is. They just like disappeared. There should have been one, but I, I don't mind if there wasn't one. We can heal inside Liu Bei's territory, so we're gonna stand here for a turn. And then we're going to take the temple. Alright. And that leaves... This no, army see. here. We can declare war against the yellow turbans. And I think their army actually left the town. Where did they go? Oh, they're here. Never mind. They all. Oh. Why does the Yellow Turban small town actually get a garrison? Well, the High Empire small town does not. Well, regardless, it's a small town. 
Easy take. Yeah, we'll let our younger brother take some softer targets for now. Upgrade to a town. Take the rice patty. I don't know if we want to declare war on the High Empire right away as well. I think we do. They're just so soft. They're not really going to do anything. We just sweep down. Wipe them out in one sweep. Um, let's end it with a battle here. I think we'll take Liu Bao out first. We'll fight our old friend. I don't... I mean, this is a stronger army, but I don't want to overextend myself this way. They're no threat. Right? If we go that way and we can't come back, he can just take our town, which is not what we want. So, where are you going? Alright, we're going to fight this. Give Nobel a nice end here. He's using bandit units. Fist of the bandit queen. Alright, let's go. All right, big wide open map. We got the Yellow River to our side. We got nowhere to run. I don't know how Nobel has adapted to the bandit lifestyle, but I'm surprised that he joined them rather than like the High Empire. And we're going to welcome him back. With a nice fire display of range superiority. We got two towers. And I don't know if we need range. Uh, they have a few cavalry, so I guess we do need some. Oh, he's willing to duel us. All right, Lobao, let me give you a proper end then. No, not you. We want the old man. Oh. We can just take him to the side so we can watch him in peace. No, he doesn't need to go that far. What is the set from here? The just the only thing is the tribuchet shot might actually hit us. But other than that, it should be fine. Are right, you old fool? Uh, learned from Liu Bei, huh? Dual wield. Alright, we hit him with ability. Wow, that actually hurt. Meanwhile. They're not even inside our Onyx Dragon range yet. Wait till that happens and then just Annihilation. I think we kill him before then. Kick him to the face. Finish him. There we go. take all comers they haven't really made it very far our onyx dragons 250 range haven't even started shooting all right we're on foot they should get off their horse too when they challenge someone who's ready on foot there we go now how strong is this guy oh he's got hamstring wait he's not a bandit character either Who's Zheng Jiang recruiting? I mean, if he was banning, he should have many. Oh, here comes the fire arrows from the Onyx Dragons. Those uh, melee cavalry actually have really high resistance, but 
It doesn't matter. They're gonna get destroyed. Uh, this will take a little bit of time. We can check the health over here. Yep, that missile resistance isn't gonna do you any good. Now these guys without missile resistance, good night. Anyone even getting close? Alright, they're gone. Fist of the Bandit Queen. Oh, wow. They got the big shield, Imperial Defenders. Now, the crossfire should reduce the effectiveness of shields because of the directionality. We're just down to the duel. Finish him. He's the only one left who's not routed. Should we use it? Nah, I think we should get the execution animation here. Ah, uh, it's just a choke. Alright, we did it. Let's see, let's see if we capture Liu Bao. Look at that. That poor guy. Alrighty, let's see if we capture him this time, now that he's not a faction leader. Come join us. It's a better life here than with Zheng Jiang. Ah, oh, doesn't want to join us, this old fool. Alright, go back to Zheng Jiang. I'm not interested in him either. Alright, so with that fight... Uh, we're going to end our episode here. Uh, we are expanding very rapidly in the west, in the north, in the south. And uh, we made a couple friends. Gong Sun Zan is very powerful, it seems. He's actually starting to expand already. And uh, he's going to be a useful ally in our fight against... Uh, he has Zhongshan. That's a little concerning that he's so close to the capital. Uh, but I hope he has the capital well defended. Uh, Liu Bei is also helping us attack them. And we're going to sweep through the Shandong Peninsula real quick here. I want to wipe out Liu Bu next episode so that we can free up our uncle and convince him to join us quickly. Uh, but it seems like we're going to go through Zhengjiang, go through here. And the toughest Liu Bu territory to take is probably this one because Goshen has an army nearby. But hopefully our army here can take care of that. And then this army will still protect Luoyang area. And this army, since we're keeping it, it's probably going to come up here to help defend Luoyang while the other one probably go north. Because we want to take the capital before anyone else. Or maybe force them to abdicate before that. Uh, both are possible. And uh, basically proceed from there. So see you guys next time. Bye.